For this problem on the topic of particle physics, we want to consider a hypothetical universe where the Nerubians and the Zibalbans are minuscule flat societies that are located with an angular separation theta of 60 degrees on the surface of a two-dimensional spherical universe with radius r, as shown in the figure, and we want to answer various questions on these societies. Now we are dealing with an expanding curved space, so we'll follow the directions with each part. And for part A, we are asked to find D. And if the angle theta is in radians, then we have D to be R times theta. For part B, we want V. And V is dd dt, the rate at which they are separating, and this is equal to d by dt of the expression we've got in part a, which is r theta. And since theta is remaining constant, this is theta dr dt, which we can write as d over r dr dt. For part c, if we let v equal to b times d, we want to find b of t. Now we know v is equal to d over r dr dt, and this is 1 over r dr dt times d, and we know this is equal to b times d, which means therefore that b is equal to 1 over r dr dt. Now for part D, we want B, and we know R is increasing at a rate of one micrometer per second. So R is equal to the initial value R naught plus VR times T. At four years, we have R to be 500 meters plus one micrometer per second multiplied by four times the number of seconds in a year, which is 3.156 times 10 to the power 7 seconds. And this is a separation after four years of 626 meters. And so B is 1 over R dr dt, which is 1 over 626 meters into one micrometer per second, which is a value of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 9 per second. Now we want in part E the value for D and again, d is equal to r times theta, which is, as calculated above, 626 meters for r times pi over 3 radians, 60 degrees, which gives 656 meters. For part f, we want the separation speed v. Using the result from b, we get v to be d by dt of d, which we said is d over r dr dt, which is 656 meters divided by 626 meters into 1 micrometer per second, which is 1.05 
micrometers per second. For part G, we want the time to reach the bulba. Now in this universe, we have C equal to 6.35 micrometers per second, and the rate of expansion VR is one micrometer per second. The waves travel along the circular arc, but this arc is increasing in length due to the expansion of space. For an infinitesimal time interval dt, the wave travels through an arc distance c dt and an angle d theta, that is c dt over r. So if we use r as r naught plus vr times t, we get d theta to be c dt over r naught plus vr times t. Integrating will give us a relationship between theta and t. And we get theta as a function of t to be the integral from 0 to t of c dt prime over r naught plus vr times t prime, which gives us c over vr times the log of r naught plus vr times t minus the natural log of r naught. And so we can write this as c over vr times the natural log of 1 plus vr times t over r naught. Now we can solve for t when the theta is pi by 3, which gives us t to be r naught over vr into e to the power pi vr over 3c minus 1. Now from part t, we know that when the ripple waves are sent, r is 626 meters. So using r0 as 626 meters, we can put in the values and get this to be 626 meters over 1 micrometer per second multiplied by e to the power of pi times 1 micrometer per second divided by 3 into 6.35 micrometers per second, all minus 1, which gives us a time of 1.122 times 10 to the power 8 seconds, which is 3.56 years. Lastly, for part h, we want the wavelength that these evolvons will observe, and using the Doppler effect with v equal to 1.05 micrometers per second at the instant the ripple waves are sent, we get the observed wavelength to be the source wavelength times the square root of c plus v over c minus v. This is the source wavelength of one nanometer times the square root of 6.35 plus 1.05 micrometers per second divided by 6.35 minus 1.05 micrometers per second, which gives an observed wavelength of 1.18 nanometers. Now, this received wavelength is lower than the emitted wavelength, which is reasonable because the universe is expanding.